Falcons franchise NFC Championship. We have made it to within one win of a Super Bowl appearance. Got to take on another bird team. It's the Philadelphia Eagles. They went 12-5, and five, and they actually have the overall advantage against us, 88 compared to an 87. They have a better offense, but we apparently have a better defense. Now, as I say that, their offensive line is absolutely elite. I think it's going to be quite difficult to get any type of pressure against this team that features a 99 overall quarterback in Jalen Hurts. DeAndre Swift is into the 90s. They even have a good backup in George Cole out of Memphis. Their receivers, we know, are amazing. Superstar X-Factor A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and Cam Shields out of Clemson. 5'8", maybe going to be relegated to the slot, but 95 speed and 98 acceleration with 97 agility and 93 change of direction. He seems like he's going to be very difficult to defend if I had to bet. Dallas Goddard, of course, remains in there at tight end, but look at this O-line. Jordan Mailata, Tyler Kahn we might see, Landon Dickerson, Lucas Patrick at center is the real weak point, but then Trevor White is an 80 overall rookie right guard, and Lane Johnson is still into the 90s as a superstar starting offensive tackle. Their defense is not quite as good, but their defensive line is still going to be one to watch. Hassan Reddick, it appears, is going to be injured this game. As we see one of our draft targets, Devon Valentine, they also have Kaiser White, Jacoby Dean, Miles Jack. Corners are still pretty good, maybe lacking that top-end speed and depth. They only have, really have four corners on the roster, but this is a very, very good team. Now, Jalen Hurts usually does not play very well in the game. He's someone where if you can get any type of pressure on him, he panics in the pocket, he forces the football out, he's usually pretty easy to play against. So I'm hoping that ends up being the case today, and we just get an easy, basically a first round bye, again, a second round bye, into the Super Bowl. Even though this is, I guess, the third round of the playoffs uh, total for us, of course. We didn't have a wild card matchup, just played in the divisional. So first round bye, and then game and then I guess a third round by but the Eagles they could absolutely stomp us I'm just saying historically Jalen Hurts has been pretty easy to play against and I'm hoping that remains the case but it's not a given Trey Lance actually does have an upgrade before we get into this game I'd love deep throw accuracy I'm gonna do strong arm for that reason and hopefully we get throw power would be nice as well but we'll take throw accuracy deep and mid both by one awareness also went up by one as well Lance is good, and that release, I mean, it's a big, big motivating factor to keep him as a starting quarterback moving forward. I know that Trey Lance maybe isn't as exciting as a rookie quarterback in Jake Meeks at a Texas Tech, but he's a good player, and he's been a big reason why we've been so successful this year, and hopefully he'll be the reason why we play in the Super Bowl. Gotta go through the Eagles. Let's do it. Winner to the Super Bowl. Eagles coming into enemy territory, Atlanta, home of our Falcons. Let's get it done. Bray Lance takes the field. Bijan Robinson probably will be a focal point today. However, that being said, it may be difficult to run the ball the way I want to when Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter are plugging up the middle of the field. So throwing the ball and even a Bijan out of the backfield might be a pivot. We'll have to see what happens. And here we go. Young Wei Koo's kick is deep and it will not be returned by Shields. Jalen Hurts takes the field, looking to put the Eagles back in the Super Bowl. He's already played in one and fell at the hands of Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. But the Chiefs, are they even advancing in the AFC in this franchise? We might find out after this game. Raiders and the Bengals are the two teams playing there at the bottom. Not exactly who you'd expect. The Carson Palmer Bowl, but already the Eagles are getting some BS to pick up 18. How do they get free? Anyway, though, it looks like the Raiders will be moving on to the Super Bowl. Definitely a weird one, as we were ready for read option with Jalen Hurts, but DeAndre Swift just keeps it, just gets it instead. And he seems to be a big part of this offense early. Has caught the football and now has run the football up the middle. But we really have to be aware of that read option. We're going big jumbo personnel. And there is the read option as Hertz takes off and gets five. It'll be third and short from midfield. Obvious four down territory for me. But 
Would the Eagles opt to do that here? I'm not sure. It's very early in this game, but you play to win. We're going to try to blow this up if they run the ball. And it's going to be a pass. I tried to press everybody, but of course the safety stayed back. And it was a wide open Dallas Goddard for the easy first. However, there is a silver lining. Landon Dickerson is hurt and running to the locker room. And that's, that's not bad for us. They lose one of their best offensive linemen. And look how small their interior looks, dude. Everyone looks about 5'10", 250 pounds. And down goes Hurts already as a result. It's the rookie out of LSU. We spent a top 10 pick on him. And Deion Dobbins, if he could come alive here in the playoffs, that would be amazing for us. Nice way to bring down the quarterback there at 2nd and 15. Eagles not quite in field goal range yet. Need to try and drive them out of it. Hurts going to take off. Stanley there. Table tops Hurts. Who picks up maybe yeah, seven, something like that. Brings up third and seven. Got to be wary of the speed from Shields in the slot. He's truly got electric speed, but we're covering it pretty well. But wide open is Devontae Smith. They ran some type of a levels concept, and Smith came wide open over the middle of the field. Not really much we can do there because they just look to take advantage of linebackers and coverage. And I don't even think a defensive back is going to be able to make that play. It's just they beat zone. That's all that was. But they've also shown the ability to beat man. And we've got linebackers again matched up against better type of receivers. As Hertz is trying to take off, breaks one tackle, picks up the first down, and it's going to be first and goal from the three for Philadelphia. Struggling to stop this offense already. And they're very, very difficult because they have such amazing receiving threats. But now, as you're seeing, they can also run the ball effectively if everybody's covered. Guess what? Jalen Hurts can just keep it. Or they can hand off to DeAndre Swift for a touchdown. Eagles take the lead early. We were completely manhandled and outmatched on that first drive. They ran the football when they wanted to. They passed the ball extremely effectively. Our defense is going to have to step up if we're going to win this game. And now, obviously, our offense is going to have to play well because it seems like the Eagles are going to be outscoring a ton of points. But here comes Trey Lance. Break London, Kyle Pitts, and B. John Robinson, some of our biggest playmakers. As you guys may remember from last game, our star, superstar, rookie receiver out of LSU, another LSU top pick for us, Quentin Drummond is out for the year. And that is a big time loss. So we were without, without him today, broken ribs. On the Eagles side, Noah Son Reddick, foot fracture. And then a abdominal tear for Landon Dickerson. So his day is done as well. Going to have to try and take advantage of that left guard spot. We start with a run. I think we're going to pass the football. But it'll work like a run because we're going to get it out to Bijan Robinson. We only get three. Was hoping we'd be able to make a man miss in space. Doesn't exactly happen that way. But that's a fine first play. I'm very okay with second and seven. And I'm okay running the ball on second and seven as well. As Pitts will come in motion, we're going to run off the back of the left guard. He's able to disengage pretty well, but not able to hold the block, and Bijan really can't get much. Only a gain of two. It'll be third down and six now. All right, third and 11 after a very unfortunate false start. See if we can move the chains. We're going to find the tight end, Neil Madsen, and get a big block from London. Neil Madsen continues to electrify our offense. He's been such an awesome weapon for us this year. 40 yards on third and long. Lance with just enough time, and it, it's just a great route from Neil Madsen. Adrian Amos was trying to cover him. They get a DB, but he can't match up size-wise against the big tight end Madsen, but also doesn't quite have the speed to match up with Neil Madsen. I'm telling you, I, I, I know I mention it every single time he makes a play, but I'm so happy that the two tight end sets have been so effective this year as Kyle Pitts gets the football up the field. Little hesitation, and now we're about inside the 10. They're going to mark us just shy of first and goal. It'll be first and 10, but I imagine it's like an inch between the first down and the end zone. So basically first and goal. Yeah, I mean, you, it's it's on the goal line. But yeah, Madsen has been so awesome. Kyle Pitts has been awesome. I don't think I've really ever run, you know, consistently two tight ends out there on the field in a franchise, but it's been awesome for this Falcons team as Madsen runs another great route. And holds on. Touchdown, Falcons. And it was all tight ends down the field. I mean, Bijan caught the ball early. 
and then it was Madsen for 40. Hits for a huge gain, and then Madsen for the score. That's what this team offers. Two tight end sets and nightmare mismatches. The Eagles just can't defend it. Whether you have Adrian Amos or Sidney Brown on Neil Madsen, it does not matter. We're going to be tied up pending the point after try, and it is good. And it's 7-7. Our offense scored really easily. But our defense, they have to play better than they did on that first drive. That was unacceptable. All right, let's blitz. I don't love Dobbins going out in coverage, but that's okay. Ooh, that, that's a good play action fake, but Jalen Hurts is just sprinting back as far as he can go. The Eagles lose 16. Javon Holland is able to wrestle down Hurts. Where are you going? He was trying to give us a safety. Holland maybe should even just let him go. Jalen Hurts maybe think he can, thinks he can get to the edge there. I don't know. That was absolutely brain dead. And the Eagles are now inside their own 10. And I'm not even sure they're going to try to pick up this first down. This is a dangerous spot. We're going to continue to blitz. Stanley drills Jalen Hurts. But his responsibility was DeAndre Swift down the field. He made a, a split second decision. And it was clearly the wrong one as Swift releases out into the flat, runs a wheel route, and it was wide open. So, big mistake, but it was a gamble. It very nearly paid off, but obviously we just let the Eagles off the hook in a massive way. So, yeah, big mistake. I recognize that. But in the heat of the moment, you see the A-gap open, wide open. Tried to shoot through it. Just didn't quite have the speed to get there. Final play of the first quarter was the one you just saw. Headed to quarter number two. We let the Eagles off the hook. Trying to be too aggressive, playing for a safety or maybe even just great field position. And uh, the Eagles might be able to take advantage of that as a result. If they score on this drive, it's, it's on me. Third and four. Not gonna make that same mistake. I really would love to press Jesse Bates. Throw to the flat. They're going to call pass interference. How many times do I have to say it? When we arrive with the ball, it's not pass interference. It isn't. The whole year I've been complaining about this. And if we don't make contact, it's a catch. Right? It's an automatic, for sure, catch. This is never pass interference. We're not making contact here. And then we make contact with the ball. Still not making contact. Boom. It's at the catch point. It's a bang-bang play. How do they consistently call pass interference on that? God, it makes me so mad. It's a free first down. The Eagles catch another break. This one I will not accept responsibility for. It's absolute bull. Ah, it's, it's annoying. Whatever. Got to lock back in. Things happen. How do we react to them? That's going to tell us how successful we're going to be. Graves, you got to get out there. Big tackle in the open field. Third and seven for Philly. Still obviously out of field goal range from about midfield. Do we blitz? We've been effective when we do. We just can't be too crazy. We're going to bring Holland up. Got to be super aware of Hurts. Going to have a contain on him. Quick throw outside. Nearly intercepted by A.J. Terrell. That could have been six. He opts to bat it down. Our offense should get the football back after a punt. That could have been six. But better an incompletion and we get the football back than somehow the pass is completed going for the pick or some type of BS happens, whatever. We knock it down. We get the ball back. We trust the offense, especially after that first drive. And uh, hopefully we just have a really good drive down the field here. Entire second quarter to work with if we want it. But our offense has kind of been more effective when we had quick strikes down the field. And I don't really see a reason to change anything up too much. Two defenders in the A-gaps. I see Madsen open. Just don't have the time. Nolan Smith gets in there for half a sack. Just a lot of speed off the edge. They rush four. Just tried to buy time, but... It, Jedrick Wills just loses pretty instantly against uh, Josh Sweat over there. So, not really much we can do. Maybe drop back a little bit too far. Well, Nolan Smith won from the other side, too. 
We're just going to take a deep shot down the field. Just half a second longer. Maybe we're able to even get it a throw off. But, you know, better to take the sack, I guess, than a throw out of sack interception like we've seen a billion times in Madden over the past couple years. Get it out for Kyle Pitts. He catches it in stride. And there he goes. Tight end mania is running wild, brother. Kyle Pitts with a long touchdown on third and long. That's where we're doing our best work today. The Eagles continue to less, uh, let us off the hook. Nobody covered Kyle Pitts. They were in man coverage. Pitts wins pretty much instantly and is able to run by everybody. The tight ends are going crazy. Pitts and Madsen both with a touchdown now and both probably nearing... 100 yards receiving individually. I think Pitts is probably close to 80. Madsen's probably at like 50. So I guess that's not nearing 100, right? But they should be near the end of the game. Pitts is actually over 100 at 109. I didn't realize how long his first catch was. And then, yeah, 50 exactly for Neil Madsen. Oh my goodness. I mean, they just can't cover the tight ends. I mean, they have managed to wrangle up Bijan so far. Very limited attempts, I get that, right? But the tight ends are just going crazy, and our offense is prevailing through the air. I don't really see any need to mix it up, as we are fully in the zone as a defense. It means we know what routes are going to be on the field, at least the main primary route. Still doesn't paint the full picture, though, obviously. Clark Phillips and A.J. Brown. I actually don't love that. Quick throw over the middle. Goddard moves the chains. And the Eagles have to be very close to knocking us completely out of the zone here. Or the three bars of momentum, I should say. And this actually is going to be a run. No routes on the field. We know it's a run. How is it not a run? Why is that route not lighting up? Did I miss it? All right, now we know it's a pass. I didn't see it on the field. Maybe I just, maybe I'm blind. It's a possibility. Where are you going, Jeff? Ooh, okay. Pass dropped by Shields. It'll be third and ten. And we certainly got the cheat code going right now. Got to cover the middle of the field. Got to cover the middle. Taking a deep shot. Holland out of position. Caught by Shields. And that's the benefit of a severely underthrown ball. Is when our safeties are playing over the top. You know, you can just throw it 20 yards short. And complete the pass. Uh, it should have gone for the big hit there, maybe, but hit uh, Y, and uh, that's maybe why you go for the deflection, but not in position for the pick. Eagles catch a big break. Hurts sacked again. Is that Kyrie Yankee? No, it's not. That's number 91. Is that Maurice Hurst? I think that might be Mo Hurst wearing 91 for us. A situational interior defensive lineman. Second and 15, Hurts under pressure. Flushed out of the pocket. Stanley big hit! And Hurts holds on. But there is another injury on this Philadelphia Eagles offensive line. And he too will jog to the locker room. As Jordan Mailata is a huge loss. They have lost two huge offensive linemen. That could have been a pick six. It hits off the head of an offensive lineman and it saves what would probably be a turnover we knew the screen was coming all the way the eagles really catch a break and they end up getting three but two massive injuries to the left side of their offensive line starting left tackle and starting left guard now unlikely to return my lot of jogging to the locker room tells me that his day may be done we'll have to see but it doesn't look good for philly and we need our pass rushers to go crazy on that side. We have a massive advantage. We can't let him off the hook. Wide receiver screen to Preston Williams. I don't really like that. I like that going to Rashid Shaheed, but without Quentin Drummond and look, McCoy on the field? What is his personnel? Ball start? Yep, gonna be another one. We didn't have any time anyway. And it's a dislocated thumb for Kyle Pitts. We're going to err on the side of caution. Second and 12. Madsen becomes the primary tight end. Preston Williams stays on the field. More Madsen. 
threw it a little bit too early, I think. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. No, it doesn't. Timeout Philly. If we have time, this is a huge play. No way around it. Jaheed down the field! Can't connect. Under pressure and not able to deliver an accurate ball. That's a touchdown if it was. Our Eagles called the timeout, but that was the two-minute warning. So they kind of... Not that they wasted it. They saved, like, what, nine seconds? What, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? That is one of the most frustrating plays I probably ever had. Cam Shields, I mean, this is, this is completely ridiculous. So, wide open on the post, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this up so you can see who I, who I am here. I, I get switched on to Jesse Bates, who is not the closest to Cam Shields. He's not. It's Javon Holland. So, thinking that I'm getting Javon Holland, I go for the tackle. But no, it's Jesse Bates, so we fall the wrong way. You're supposed to switch on to the closest defender. Javon Holland is closest. I recognize that it's close. Javon Holland is closest. And he's certainly closer when I actually switch on. So, already frustrated. Again, it is close. I thought it was going to be Javon Holland. So I, I think it's still closer. And then, I think it's going to switch me on to Dylan Stanley, who is certainly closest. No! It switches me on to Clark Phillips. Stanley, who would have made a play, dives for no reason and whips. And then Clark Phillips right on him. I'm hitting the tackle button. He won't do anything. And then Shields gets the angle and he's gone. I've never seen a more scripted moment in my entire life. How the Eagles have the lead right now is beyond me. They have been completely outplayed. And it's 17-14. But we can take the lead back before the half and get the football to start half number two. So no reason to freak out just yet. We still really cannot run the ball with Bijan. I'm trying to. The Eagles are just all over it. I'll take five yards on first down though. Obviously not complaining about that. Getting Kyle Pitts back on the field could be good. We're gonna throw it down the field. Madsen gets bumped! Please, please! Brother! Neil Madsen is coming wide open. He really runs this route so far down the field, and I see him running past the safety, and it's Preston Williams who releases over the top of Amos and takes Madsen out of the play. And Madsen, of course, can't reach it. Oh, my God. They are stealing long touchdowns from us. We're going to run the ball on third and five. Oh, there's a ton of space. Ton of space. We'll take that. Just over a minute to play. Still have three timeouts. Have not opted to call one just yet. I like Preston Williams here on the dig. This could be easy yardage. Doesn't get open though, but that does. And bumped again. Okay, I mean, it would be nice if with the routes on the field, my receivers would not constantly run into each other. It's, I mean, we don't need to fucking chest bump on our routes. You know, high five after the play. That's going to be wide open. And instead, yet again, it's a huge play taken off the board. I'm, I'm becoming frustrated. I don't know if you guys can tell. Lance under pressure, rolling out. Hit Fitzpatrick. There's a flag. Fitzpatrick down the field. It's a touchdown if... It stands. Flag on Philly, please. John Fitzpatrick, long touchdown. I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe a hold? They're going to say Trey Lance was over the line? I got to take another look at this because I really didn't feel like Trey Lance was fully over the line of scrimmage. I I'm, I'm like close to freaking out. So the line is at the 39, right? 39-yard line. If I made a mistake, it's on me. We roll out on the pressure. And then, for whatever reason, Valentine goes to cover the running back. Doesn't make any sense to do that, but okay. Lance here. Where do we release it? Set the feet at like the 38. Throw the ball. So when the ball's out of his hand, right? Right there. 
His foot is at the 38-yard line. Okay, maybe maybe a bit beyond that. That's not an illegal forward pass because it's the farthest part of your body or the, the closest, the farthest back. So this is not an illegal play at all. And it's still not when the ball is five yards out of his hand. Not five yards, two yards, right? So there's nothing illegal about that at all. And it's another big play taken off the board. That is not an illegal forward pass. Some people are going to say it is. It's not. By the definition of the NFL rulebook, that is not a penalty. That is perfectly legal. Yet Madden has other ideas. I mean, they don't want me winning this game, apparently. Throw it up to Drake London. He's got a step, and he's got the catch! Drake London house call! We can only score on third and long today, apparently. No, I mean, Madsen's touchdown was on first down, right? But after a big catch on third and long, Kyle Pitts third and long touchdown, Drake Long, or Drake London third and long touchdown. I mean, Lance is playing well today, but he's had a couple of under pressure inaccurate throws and just had a huge John Fitzpatrick touchdown taken off the board. We got the lead, 21-17. It should be a lot more, in my opinion. It really should be. Eagles have 34 seconds to find the end zone. We're getting a field a goal range, and they might be able to do that really easily. Because that is a massive play down the field. They are already to the 49. Hertz is in the zone. Throw over the middle. Intercepted by Jeff Okuda. Thank you, Jalen. All that momentum instantly gone. Jeff Okuda interception. Hey, I mean... I don't know what Hertz is doing on this throw. Okuda appeared to have inside leverage and Hertz just forced it in there. And that certainly hurts. And even if he didn't, I mean, Javon Holland is right there too. It's a hospital ball at best, interception at worst. Uh, and clearly worst case scenario comes true for the Eagles. We might be able to score here before the end of the half. Want to force it to Madsen. Lance under pressure. Throw it away. That's got to be a penalty. Second and ten. London looks open. Get the football out! Didn't have enough air underneath that. I will say, I love how the Eagles continue to give us the ball over the top. We're just killing them all the way down the field. Down the field for London. Has a step on Slay. Underthrown slightly. Okay. Okay this field goal range? Surely not, right? Just punt. Eagles will take a knee. Go into the half down four. We get the ball to start the third quarter, so still in good position. It feels like we should have more points right now, but it's okay. We have the lead. Let's just hold it through the second half. We're not going to take our foot off the gas pedal. The way we've been effective today is pushing the ball down the field. I see no reason to change that. Obviously, you want to take time off the clock, but our biggest way to win this game, our easiest way to win, is continue to outscore the Eagles. Now, mistakes can be made when you do that. Just not make them. Winner to the Super Bowl to take on the Las Vegas Raiders. That'll be an interesting one. Okay, football to start. Deontay Talley, our third string running back, is back to return. He's actually got a hole. Went to the outside instead. Tally with a broken tackle. Yeah, I don't know if we could have gone up the middle there. It looked open enough, but tough to say. Our game plan is to run up the middle in this half, and that's going to be working really effectively. Bijan Robinson tracked down by Josh Sweat, but finally his first big impact is made on the game. A nice run the outside there. And uh, welcome to the football game, Bijan Robinson. They've really done a good job of, you know, stalling him as a runner. I think his biggest gain was five yards. Lance under pressure, just throw it away. Would love to be able to put Madsen on a crossing route here, but we'll settle for, he can't even release. Just throw that. Preston Williams with a rare catch. We'll take the first down. Madsen caught on the line. I mean, I'm getting frustrated with some of these things. Now Madsen's going to be on crossing route. Rashid Shahid on that post could be money here. 
Now we're gonna throw up the field for Madsen. What a ball from Lance. And Neil Madsen continues to eat. Lance with a number of incompletions this game. We've only thrown the ball 16 times. But a lot of those are throwaways or throw at a sack. Under pressure, inaccurate throws. Really been pretty good today. Bijan looking for space and finding the end zone. Seven for seven. Love to say that. Bijan Robinson finally doing something, man. The it, it's not even on him, right? The Eagles defensive line was just playing really well, and then Bijan wasn't able to really make anybody miss. But the offensive line just murdering up the middle there. And we're gonna extend our lead to eleven points. Second and six. We know it's play action because we know the route. It doesn't matter. They got a superstar backup tight end. Don't dive! Dylan Stanley loves to dive when he's going to make the play five yards later. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's all right. Eagles are just crushing us with the big play. How that ends up being a big play, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what Kyrie Yankee's doing. All right. Don't let them back in the game, please. Do not. Second and ten. They could run the ball here. Not going to. And that pass is caught by Brown. He's been really quiet today. However, we often see in Madden, you know, the other team's wide receiver one just doesn't get the football very often. It's usually tight ends and slot receivers. I should see a tight end. Holland comes screaming across the middle. Ball finds him, but he couldn't find it. Fourth and four. Eagles going for a field goal. It'll make it an eight-point game which is the right decision to make it a one possession game. You're not in a good spot right now. Field goal for us makes it a two possession game easy. And then if we score, we could consider going for two, which could really make things crazy for Philly, needing, you know, multiple two point conversions. But we also potentially let them off the hook if we don't get it. I don't know. Can we get Kyle Pitts back on the field? We're just not nearly as dynamic with John Fitzpatrick. Nice catch from Bijan. We've seen that dropped quite a lot. Work off play action. Oh my goodness. Did not mean to press that button. Neil Madsen wide open to the flat. We air it out downfield for Rashid Shaheed. Oh my goodness. That was nearly disastrous. We get lucky. That was on me. Third and six. Slant open. Yes, Preston Williams again. This is Dolphins franchise. How many of you remember how good Preston Williams was in Dolphins franchise? It was a long time ago now. A lot of you newer to the channel definitely have no idea. Some of you, though, surely will remember Preston Williams was the truth. I don't know how it was the case, but he was a beast. And throw it away. <laughs> Isaiah McCoy into the game. And all the backups are coming in. Bijan wide open in the flat. Bijan making somebody miss. Yep, that's a first down. And George Espinoza in at tight end now. Our, you know, depth pieces are really coming out onto the field. I think we just opt to run this with Lance, but don't take a hit. Or fly it in. Jordan Davis knocked up. No, hold on. Banged up there for the Philadelphia Eagles. But it doesn't matter when you have Jalen Carter, I guess. Bijan completely shut down. It's just smart to take the field goal here. I think we're going to. Fourth and short. I think we could probably get it. Doesn't even make sense to try. Two possession lead, no matter what here, as long as we make the field goal and Youngway Koo's kick is good. Just need to prioritize making it a two possession game. Had to do it. It'll be the final play of the third quarter. See what happens for Philly. And great throw from Hurts. Wow. Really good. Hamilton missed him. Dobbins can't find him. Oh, my goodness. And Jalen Hurts is just so fast, dude. What are you doing? That's the end of the third quarter. 31-20. We have the lead. Eagles playing us pretty close, but I think they've gotten pretty lucky. Bubble screen. We're all over it, but it doesn't matter when we can't tackle. How do they get eight yards on that? No, no, no. It's read option. There goes Hurts. Thankfully, we predicted the broken tackle. Bates with a big hit. Hurts is really just destroying us on the ground right now. Will it be enough? Eight minutes to play. 
Got to be aware of read option. Got to be aware of it. Just wrap up. All right, we'll take that. Second and seven. DeAndre Swift out of the game right now. Hurts under pressure, nearly sacked, and gets a throw away. You're killing me. I mean, great effort from Hurts. Don't know how we're not able to bring him down. We're going to pass commit. Honestly, should leave Stanley out as like kind of a quasi spy. Hurts looks like he's going to run. Send somebody after him. We're able to wrestle him down. But it's fourth and four. You, you do probably have to kick a field goal here. But again, you're really counting on your defense to make a stop, which they really have not been able to do very much today. Roughing the kicker. Is this a joke? Dude, they're going to make me lose it today. I wasn't even paying attention. Where's roughing the kicker? What are you doing? It's already through the uprights. Rookie cornerback Jason Carrington at a Michigan State was just trying to give him a big old kiss. That's not allowed. Eagles with a fresh set of downs. I know we're winning right now, but it feels scripted. This is crazy what's happening. Broken tackle, touchdown. All right. We're going we're gonna to stay composed, and they're going to go for two, of course. I don't know how we're going to stop this. Aiden Ellis into the game. They've got an offensive lineman, a tight end. Hurts taking off. We don't have the speed. Two points, good. It is a field goal game. Pitch back in the game. Perfect. We need you now. Down, or up in this game by three. We need to get down the field in a hurry. Eagles are hoping for that. Just kidding. Let's play this conservatively. Let's take time off the clock. And let's win this game. We are five and a half minutes away from a Super Bowl appearance. Run the ball on second and five. Find a space here. Here goes Bijan. Big move to the outside. Stay in bounds, don't fumble. Second and seven, run up the middle. Algier, that should be a first. Yes, it is. Eagles not really being able to shut down the run right now. Bijan getting stronger as the game goes on. He might even be able to get to 100 yards today, which is kind of surprising based off of the way this thing started. Second and four, I plan on keeping it on the ground. Madsen going to have a tough block here against the defensive end, but does the job, and Bijan does his job with the 85 yards rushing now. First and 10. We're gonna run with Lance. Have space. That was something. That'll take us to the two minute warning. Second and seven, keep it on the ground. Bijan look for space here. Eagles will call their first time out. It's third and four. Playing for a field goal puts us in a tough spot. Really not gonna do that. We are going to play for the touchdown. Playing for a field goal doesn't really do us any favors. It just forces the Eagles to try to beat us. Oh, Rasheed, please put me. We need that block. But Lance scrambles for the first. And what I mean by that, if, if you get three here, going up by six late in the game is my least favorite thing to do. Because then the Eagles know we need a touchdown to win. And when they get the extra point, you know, it's a guaranteed victory. So... Don't like doing that. I like to play for the score, but that first down could end things. I think that could be game over. Bijan down at the six. He's over 100 yards rushing. Second and five. Bijan just not trying to find the end zone. We needed to take a little bit more time off the clock, and we have absolutely done that. One final knee, and that is the ball game. 31-28 is your final. This was quite a game. This was quite a game. It was uh, definitely really scary, but we were able to come out on top despite some adversity, I will say, and we'll win it. Three point game in the end. It didn't feel that close to me, but that is your final. Just a field goal separates these two teams. We are headed to the Super Bowl. Back to back years. We lost it last year against the Colts. Anthony Richardson gave us some problems. This year, that's not going to happen again. We take on the Las Vegas Raiders. That's a team we can beat. Oh, Trey Lance getting in a little butt slap. 
See you, Trey. Only 59% completion percentage today, but had 312 yards passing and three touchdowns. You'll take that performance. Rushing. Bijan ends up rushing for over 100, averaging five and a half yards per carry. Just came alive in the fourth quarter. Did have a touchdown as well. Trey Lance did enough for for 20. He was on fire today. Jalen Hurts was a problem. Kind of annoying. And then receiving these Eagles, man. I hate you. But tight ends just rushed it, dude. Four for 78 and a touchdown for Madsen. Two for 109 and a touchdown for Pitts. Didn't play much of the second half. And then Bijan had a couple of catches. Drake London with a 66-yard touchdown catch. Everyone just had a, a big time play today. Sacks for Hurst, Dobbins, and Holland. Interceptions for Jeff Okuda. Of course, no forced fumbles, but what a game, what a finish. And we're going to the Super Bowl. Finally playing for it all again. We can only upgrade receiving back for Bijan, so kind of a no-brainer. Short route running, probably. Yeah, plus one. Catching traffic by two. I like that, but I mean, he's so good as a runner. Unbelievable. We really can't make him all that much better. Raiders upset the Chiefs in the divisional. Bengals over the Bills. And of course, you know what happened in the NFC. And all that for the Bengals to lose to the Raiders. And the Eagles, of course, drop to us. Super Bowl is up next. Raiders, Falcons, can we win it all? I think so. See you in the next one. Take it easy.